Six, a Netflix documentary series puts the Stephen Avery case back in the spotlight. That show was released last week and ever since. Law enforcement in Manitowoc County say they've been getting hate emails and inappropriate phone calls from all over the country. Corrine Zell went there today to get their side of the story. Corrine. Steve Sheriff Robert Herman calls the documentary one-sided. The sheriff worked for the department when the first case came about in 1985, but he wasn't involved. Well, now he's left handling the fallout decades later in a way he never expected. Making a murderer. The name of a 10-part Netflix documentary shining a new light on Stephen Avery and Manitowoc County. I call it a movie, I don't call it a documentary because it doesn't share all the facts. Since the series premiered Friday, the Manitowoc Sheriff's Office has felt the backlash. We've been receiving a lot of uh, emails um, and phone calls that are very negative, um, somewhat hate emails, I guess you would call them. Avery was convicted of rape in 1985. He was released from prison in 2003, 18 years later, after the Innocence Project found DNA linked to another man. In 2005, Avery was convicted of murdering Teresa Halbach. A lot of the things were taken out of uh, chronological order. Sheriff Herman hasn't seen the documentary, but close colleagues have. Quite frankly, they have no clue. Another agency not associated with the original case is also feeling the heat. Basically, we're being affected by people commenting on our Facebook page, mistaking us for the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department, who handled these previous cases. The Manitowoc Assistant Police Chief posted a comment on Facebook as an attempt to set the agencies apart. The release of the Netflix series regarding Stephen Avery has caused some confusion. The sheriff says the filmmakers got their facts wrong. Those are probably not things that sell movies. Both law enforcement agencies we talked with today say they're most upset the documentary came out because of the hall box. They say the family who lost their loved one has to relive their tragedy in a way. Avery will spend life in prison without the possibility of parole. Stephen Carroll. Corrine, thanks.